What's up, y'all? It's your favorite wig reviewer back at it again with another video with a unit from Mink Hair Weave. This is a 13 by 4 straight transparent lace 24 inch unit. And I'm going to show you how you can finesse some streaks in her without having to bleach the wig or anything. So I did get these clip ins from my local beauty supply. I don't even think they're fully human hair. They were really cheap, like 20 bucks, and they did the job. Um, I actually seen this idea on TikTok, and I'm like, girl, I've never tried this before. Let's try it. So I placed the clip ends in the actual wig. I found that once when I teased the roots, um, the clip ends stuck a lot better than if I didn't. And once I got them in, I only used a couple. Um, I do cut the layers with the clippings in so they can be layered right along with the hair. Since I've shown so many videos of me curling my hair, I decided to do the majority of it off camera, but I am going to do a small piece right here just so you can get an idea of, you know, just the type of curls that I was doing. Once your curls have cooled, that's when you are going to want to take your clips out. But again, um, to ensure that you have nice bouncy curls that last a lot longer, you want to make sure the hair is completely cool before you take out your clips. And also, um, be aware of the clip-ins. If you are going to get cheaper ones, that they are able to curl or they don't melt. Um, because the ones that I got... They didn't melt, but they didn't curl all that good. They did the job, but if I had to go back in time, I wouldn't have chose those. I would have got some that was a little bit more expensive. So here I'm taking out my clips, and you can see the hair is nice, thick. Mink hair is always nice, thick, and shiny. And I thought it was, you know, this is really actually my, my favorite go-to style. Here I'm going to um, basically install the wig how I usually do. I like to place the wig on my head at the moment and cut my lace because it gives it a lot more um, natural hairline. And I'm gonna take my got to be same old, same old and glue her down.
I didn't do the ball cap method, um, I am going to have to take a little bit of makeup and put it in my part just so I can blend in that um, wig cap in a lot better. And here is the final look. Oh, she came out so good. She got a lot of body and she's got a little pop of color in her without even having to damage the hair. You can honestly even change the colors if you'd like. They had pink extensions. They also had blue. So if you want to pick up this wig and try this out, everything on her would be in the description box down below. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next one.